unbuckled. But you know what? That's a very good point. Safety first. That's what today is all about. How to drink all day and not get drunk. <gasps> Legally. No, I left it on my bed. What? The breathalyzer! Travel doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't even have to take that much time. You can travel often by maximizing the best experiences wherever you are. So get out there. I'm Tavon, and this is How to Travel. All right, we're back. We're back. If you go <laughs> wine tasting, no matter where in the world you are, you're probably gonna go to a few places, which means that you're gonna have to drive between them. I haven't figured out yet how you drink a bunch of wine and then still drive. Mm. I know it's possible. I think it involves a lot of spitting. <laughs> so we're gonna do a scientific experiment. I'm, I'm the sober Sally. You are gonna be the what drunk, are we, drunk Daisy, Daisy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're gonna test this with Amazon's finest breathalyzer. Woo! Unbox it. Let's go. Result: zero out of zero. Let's test the driver. <laughs> There's a police car right there. Zero. Hey Bam. Bam. All right. Ready to wine taste. We got the cops up here to, I guess, pull us over if we don't do it right. Safety, safety first. All right, you guys. Here we go. Woo! Grapes look kind of dead. Wake up, grapes. <laughs> Where the wine at? All right. Got my accessory. Checking in. Uh, winery number one. Um, I think it's Snow White's house. Where did you find this place? Internet. Now, are you gonna go with the red or the snow white? <laughs> We'd like to start off by saying welcome to the Briar Rose. Oh. Okay, missed opportunity. This place called Briar Rose. I don't oh. think they have a Briar Rose. Wait, Briar Rose is Sleeping Beauty. So I'm gonna be the driver today, so I'm doing the spit routine. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm gonna be okay if I spit everything out, right? Well, here's the deal. What I would do is I would take your first sip and swallow that. Okay. And then and then you can, you know, as, uh, depending on what you want to intake, whatever okay. you don't, you just get anywhere out here and the grass is fine. Oh, you can spit nice. It, you can pour it out, you can do whatever you want. Love it. Easy peasy. Yep. Just... All right, so Ooh. wine tasting 101. Okay, you got a swirl? Wait, swirl? Okay. Swirl? I can't swirl. I'm you got to <laughs> snip. When you take a big mouthful, okay. swish around all parts, get Colgate up in here. This direction. Right? In Listerine. Breathe in the alcohol content, see so how much alcohol is in the wine. Ooh, this is so good. One sip only, and then spit. I'm driving later. Spit it. Oh God, it's on my ankle. Oh God, oh God. I did not expect to just be spitting on the grass. <laughs> What's the legal drinking limit? 0.08 to drive. I'm gonna be a 2.0. <laughs> That's like Amy Winehouse. <laughs> Amy Snow White House. <laughs> Damn, you almost can't drive. <laughs> <laughs> Moment of truth. 0.02. Mm. I'm like barely a 0.01 and I think it's going down, so. Here we go. I'm buzzed. I don't know the words, but. Uh, I thought I'd have some time to sober up between these. <laughs> No. No. Oh, there's a horse. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's two. Another horse. <laughs> hey now. What? Do you know this place puts the country in the wine country? We're doing some tastings. 
two? Yeah? Yeah, two tastings. Two? Yeah. This is what I needed, the spittoon. All right, what we got? All right, bartender's favorite red, the second sweetest wine. All right, of all places, this is the one where they don't have grass for you to spit on. So the spittoon's inside, but um, I actually learned this on the internet. If you're kind of uncomfortable like spitting in public, you can just bring a cup or like honestly bring a red solo cup and then you just like spit in there and then dump in the spitter. <laughs> when you go and like review wines like as a, a taster person. They have their own cups. Or you use the spitter, right? Be because it's like it's irresponsible to go and taste like 50 different wines and then like drive back to San Francisco. So. Cheers to spitting. <laughs> this is this is nice. Mm. This I could drink a whole bottle of this. Pretty good. Other pro tip, thank you, internet. Water, cleanse the palate. Mm. What's your BAC right now? Blood alcohol content. High. Red. Red. <laughs> I'm in the red for sure. We pass a breathalyzer right now. Well, fortunately, we have one. <laughs> I could totally do it. I could pass a breathalyzer. Trying to come up with some smooth way, not the right time. <laughs> Heartbreak. <laughs> Friday nights. Gotta get me some of that. <laughs> Point oh two. Wow. Oh, point oh nine. Just too drunk to drive. There's no laws about how drunk you can be on a horse. <laughs> now I wish I didn't spit it out. Okay, check in. So, tasting ends at four. So I'm gonna make this be my one glass for the day. We'll see how it goes on the breathalyzer. So the question was is, because I've been driving, I didn't drink anything, this is gonna be my one that I drink, but for everyone hanging out, is, the, is there a lot of DDs or a lot of people Uber around here, or how do people do it? So there is, and we're pretty big on it here, so if there's somebody who's definitely drunk, we try and make sure that they're getting an Uber or a taxi. Oh. We actually recommend if you're gonna stay and drink and enjoy the music and you've had a glass or two, definitely Uber, call ahead of time. Cool, oh, oh, great, great info, thank enjoy. you. Enjoy, be safe, guys. I can't be stone cold sober with this. It's like I didn't know what I was missing. One glass of wine. I feel human again. <laughs> Encore! Popcorn! <laughs> you! You said you were sober. <laughs> I'm worried. This shit ain't right. 1.2. We gotta try again. One point two. There's no way. Okay, we gotta wait for we gotta wait for the. Uh... One point three. Woo! Baby's getting drunk. All right, I have learned something, and this is true. 
can't buy breathalyzers off of Amazon. We gotta wait. We gotta wait. Let's go inside. Can we? Yeah, I got. We're not gonna take this as like drive legally. Science. Let's let's wait, wait like five minutes because I think it was just the wine in my mouth. It does make me feel better that I'm not like over. over the legal limit after one glass, but it does like gut check you of like oh shit. 1.6. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, did that go up? I think it went up. You. So I've learned something. It really wasn't as fun to just be sober Sally and like spitting out wine the whole time. And only one glass gets you kind of close to the danger zone. So you know what? It's possible to drive and do wine tasting responsibly. But if you want to have a good time, just Uber. Or get a hotel on Uber. Yeah. Or change your plan so that you have a little bit more time, you know, just to like relax, right? So. You just gotta do it the responsible way unless you wanna be woo woo! No, no. Cheers to you! Cheers.